Hey there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video right here, I'm going to be showing you some really cool things with signs within this video, and that is how to do colored text in Minecraft. So this is for Minecraft Java edition only, and I'm going to show you how to use Minecraft commands in order to actually, you know, produce colored font or text for signs that are in your Minecraft world. So essentially there are two different examples right here that I have actually displayed. This one has different colors depending on the line of the sign. This one on the other hand has two different words the like a different color on the same line. So I'm going to show you exactly how you actually get to use a command and any text formatting in order to get this to actually work. But you, we do actually have to use Minecraft commands in order to get this to function. And the command in question that we're going to be using is slash data merge and then block. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be merging text data with colors into the various text elements of the sign for line one, two, three, and four. So the best way to show you this, just before I show you the commands in more detail, is if we place down a sign right here, if I go over the sign so that I'm actually in the same block, if we do slash data get block and then we use the same relative coordinates, you will see right here that I've just extracted all of the data from this sign right here. And as you can see, there is text one, text two, text three, and text four. So essentially that is uh, for the sign itself. So for each of the separate lines of text in the sign, there is a separate data tag for each one. So that's important to note before we actually get into this tutorial right here. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the commands for both of these examples in a text editor, because I find that a lot easier to show you what you need to do in order to get this to work. Now, be aware that also the commands I'm using are in the description of the video so that you can look at that in more detail. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here, and I'm going to very quickly just show you what we're actually doing in order to get this to work. So as I said, in order to actually color various lines of text within a sign, we're going to be using the slash data merge block command. And essentially what we're doing is we're merging data into the text one, two, three, or four data tags for the sign. Now, um, if you actually want to specify uh, one particular line of text with a particular color, this is the way to do it, this first command right here. So what we actually end up doing is we do slash data merge block, and then this only works, this particular command, if you're standing right at the sign's location like I was doing a moment ago. And what we're doing is we select, we select the line we want to target, and then within these single quote marks right here, we have this text object. Now, this text object has two variables attached to it, the actual text and the color, okay? So this is the text, and this is the color that we are assigning. So in a moment right here, I'm going to be showing you how you can find out the color codes that are actually available to Minecraft because there's only a certain amount of colors available for, you know, signs and various text in the game. Now, once you've actually done this, you can re rinse and repeat this in order to actually add colored text to, you know, uh, text two, text three, and text four, and just adjust the text and the color accordingly to what you want to do. Now, the second command is a little bit more like complex, I guess. It's slightly more involved, but not by much. So stay with me here. Uh, command two allows us to do the second example where we're trying to use two colors or more in the same line of text. Now, this is how you do it. Okay. So in this case, we are specifying the second line of text and then inside the single quote marks right here, 
we actually have some square brackets because what we need to do is in order to have different colored text, we need to provide the sign multiple text objects. So that is why we have these square brackets right here because we're saying that there's a collection of them. The first text object is this one and the second one is this one, okay? And the first one, the text just says red with a space at the end and we are using the red color and then the second one says gold and then we're using the gold color, okay? And the reason why I put a space in between here is if you don't do this, then what ends up happening is it puts the words right next to each other because it, it just literally uh, parses the, the text data you give it in sequence. So it doesn't put in spaces automatically. So bear that in mind. Now, those are the two options. And as I've said before, you can apply this to any of the text line tags for that sign. So text one, text two, text three, or text four. All right, everyone, I will also leave a link for this image in the description of the video as well. But this is actually the color range you can use in the game. So here is a gold and here is red that we were using before. And these are all the various colors that you can actually use. So you cannot use any other colors apart from this, but the, the name field right here or the name column is what you need to use when you're actually assigning the color to your various bits of text. So if you want to use dark gray, then you have to do dark underscore gray for the color when you actually are producing your text. So make sure to refer to this so that you can do the sign you want to do. And that is about it. It's actually fairly simple and using commands, you can do lots of really nifty things with signs when it comes to color. Now, the last thing I'm going to actually bring to your attention is what if you place a sign on a building like this or something like that, which is not so easy to stand over. These signs are really easy to stand over because they're actually attached to the ground. But if you have this case where the sign is on a block or a wall of some kind, what you need to do is within the actual commands that you're actually doing, um, in the commands that I've been showing you, uh, we're actually doing it such that you have to use relative coordinates in the command itself. And what you need to do is instead of using relative coordinates, you could you have to specify the block where the sign is. And if you actually do that, you'll then be able to adjust the color or the text of any sign you come in contact with. But the standard case where it is actually attached to the ground, you don't need to actually do that. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial video. As I said, this is only for Java edition because the data merge block command is only available for Java edition. So this is only for Java. So please bear that in mind. But hopefully I helped you out. And as I said, the commands are in the description. But thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video and learn something new, then a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated and make sure you hit the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. Be sure to follow my Twitter as well, which is in the description or on screen right now. And yeah, hopefully this helps you with any of your creative projects or things you want to do in Minecraft itself. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.